Mr. Bernhard, you asked to come to my office to say that you were the guy who stood up for strong ethics at Interior during the George W. Bush years. And less than 48 hours ago, you told me in the Bush years, you advised Julie McDonald, a notoriously corrupt inter Interior official, to clean up her act. Ultimately, the Inspector General found McDonald politically meddled with the scientific conclusions of fish and wildlife endangered species reports, and McDonald had to resign. A few hours after you and I met, I read Interior Department documents obtained through a Freedom of Information Act request that show within the last two years you blocked the release of a fish and wildlife report with a new analysis of the dangerous effects of toxic chemicals. So you asked to come to my office to tell me your ethics are unimpeachable, but these brand new documents I just saw make you sound like just another corrupt official. Why would you come to my office to lie to me about your ethics? Well, Senator, with all due respect, the um, news article you're referring to is um, not um, even close to the actual story. I read the story. documents. Forget and, the news and, article. I read the documents. If you, if you read those documents, you'll see that, I mean, not the documents, but even in that article, the Fish and Wildlife Service employee that's quoted there says everything was perfectly appropriate. And let me, let me tell you what the challenge is when I get a document. I make decisions based on exactly the same standards on every single thing that comes to my desk. And here are my standards. Have we appropriately um, dealt with the facts and the information as we see it? That's a factual question. Have we dealt with the um, parameters of the law that we have? That's a legal question. And then there's also, at times, a policy question. In this particular issue, there's no policy. But there is a very significant and important thing. You're dealing with some of the most difficult consultations on the planet. And when I read the document, my reaction to it was, this is really an interesting draft, but it clearly didn't have any legal review. And, and in our world, you can't ignore the law and, and come up with a scheme. You have to have it fit the law and the facts. And so I uh, basically said, let's go uh, kick it over to career lawyers, have them look at it. And their assessment was exactly like mine. And so what we decided is that the approach needed to be um, readdressed. My, my, my time is short. Just like Julie McDonald, you meddled with the science. You inserted yourself in the scientific process. And I would just ask, Madam Chair, for uh, documents that show what I am saying is accurate and what Mr. Bernhard is saying is not true attest to that point. I would ask the unanimous consent that documents be put into the record. Thank, thank you, Madam Chair. Now, I want to go into this conflict issue a bit more with the remainder of my time. Mr. Bernhard, I'm not claiming that you are big oil's guy. The big oil lobbyists are making that claim. Your former clients in the oil and gas industry have been caught on tape crowing about how you're their guy at Interior. And I'm thinking back to how Ryan Zinke sat in your seat, said nine times he'd be like Teddy Roosevelt, but he left with an enormous ethical set of clouds. I haven't seen any evidence that you ever publicly objected to any of Zinke's activities, A, and B, there's an Inspector General report indicating that you have green, given the green light to some of them. So I'm going to close because my time is out. I think you are so conflicted that if you get confirmed, you're going to have one of two choices. One, you're going to have to disqualify yourself 
from so many matters, I don't know how you're going to spend your day. Or two, you're going to be making decisions that either directly or indirectly benefit former clients, regularly violating your ethics uh, pledge. And for colleagues for whom this is a new matter, I'd urge you to take a look at the documents that have just come out from the Freedom of Information Act lawsuit because I think they make my point. Thank you, Madam Chair.